Hi everyone, my name is Tony Wale, and welcome to another exciting episode of Skyrim Special Edition Mod Tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install SkyUI uh, 5.2 and along with SKSE 64 for Skyrim Special Edition uh, on Mod Organizer 2. Since the Mod Organizer has been updated, this video is going to make this much, much more simple to download these two mods and get them working properly for Mod Organizer 2. This is a very pr pretty straightforward and simple process. I will show you what to do and even make shortcuts for you. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do, of course, is to download the mod. Click the manager, download it straight to your manager if you're logged in. Click here. Or if you'd like to, you can always download it manually. For this tutorial, I will be downloading it um, through the mod manager. Manually, uh, it's very simple. Download it to your download folder, install, and just find the Sky UI here and install it like you normally would. Now, once it's down Sky UI is downloaded into your mod manager, you're just going to simply install it like you normally would. Make sure the name's there. You can check it here. You can click OK if you want. I like to always double check to make sure that the everything's working accordingly. So I usually like to do manual. If it says it looks good, then click OK. I've already installed it, so click Replace. Now we want SKSE64. This is going to be a manual download. You're going to click this archive here. It'll say current SE build 2.06 or, or, or above. You're going to click this one. This is this one here is the old Skyrim Legendary Edition. This is the Skyrim uh, Special Edition. So make sure when you're downloading, this is the one you're looking for. It may be out of alpha at that time. Please make sure it's out of alpha if you're downloading it for future videos. Go ahead and click the download the archive and download it accordingly. It'll do its thing. Alright, go back to your mod manager. Now the first thing you're going to also want to do is open up your Steam folder. Okay, so let me get rid of these. Now we're going to go to our Steam folder. Open that up. We're going to go to Apps, Common, Skyrim Special Edition Directory. Leave this open and now open up another file for your downloads. Okay. Now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to unzip SKC64, extract files. I'm using 7-zip, you can use Wuthrad if you'd like, I heard some people do like that. I do prefer 7-zip. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take these particular files here, that's all you want is these, drag and drop. Click replace. Don't worry about that. that. That's something to do with my own system. Now what you're going to do is get rid of this. I've already got this installed. That's why. <laughs> now you're going to go back, click here and go back to your uh, your download folder. And you're going to get rid of that little file here. You no longer need it. Now we're going to go back to our mod manager. We have the uh, ex executables installed, which is great. But we need the scripts. So we're going to go to install mod. We're going to click on the scripts right here. Click open. You're going to right click. Make sure, and also make sure it says scripts here. So you're going to want to do scripts. Just so you know what they are. Click cancel. Now you want the data folder. This is where all the scripts are. are, are. See, so it says scripts right here. This is what you want for your uh, SKSA64. So you're gonna, all you're going to do is right click and set as directory. It looks good. Click OK. Click replace. Now what we're going to do is we're going to find those things. Sky UI is here along with my scripts. Load them both in. On my load order, I like to make sure that my my scripts are a little bit above the Sky UI. Sky UI, I like to let it load last. Make sure your your load order is where it needs to be. So, make sure everything's working properly. Now we want our executables to to look nice. We have um some a setup. Now, Mod Organizer 2 is now detecting SKS 64 executable when you install it. If you already have SK64 installed. If not, all you'll do is you go up here to edit, right? Click on SKC60, SKC60, click under your binary. You, you'll click the executable and you'll click open and then you'll click modify or add. Okay, very, very simple. But make sure you write SKC or SKC64, whatever your heart desires. Modify, you know, and then it's right here. So you have it right there, okay? And you'll see SK64. It's basically the same thing as SKS, SKSE. But um, if you want to do XQ64, just so you know what it is, you know, they're more than welcome to. Now, but like I said, Mod Organizer 2 does detect these scripts themselves now. Now, what I want to do is show you a little shortcut. So, let's say you, you have your loader ready to go, you have everything you want set up, but you just want to start your game without having to open up more Mod Organizer. But 
Every, your load order is where you need it. You know, you have nothing to worry about. So that's what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you the shortcut. So you can load it from the toolbar. You just want to load your game instead of having to just constantly scroll down here and, you know, click the run button. You can just click it up here and you're good to go. If you want it to your desktop, you click your desktop here and it'll drop it on the, on the, on the desktop. So click out of here. But it's kind of funny looking though. I don't like the way it looks. That's it looks really bland for the icon. So let's give it the um, Skyrim Special Edition logo. You're going to right click, Properties, Icon, okay, click Browse, and you're going to go to your Skyrim directory and just find, click the executable, click Open, right there, click OK, click Apply, click OK again, and there you have it. Okay, all right everyone, that's it, and you can just load your game like you normally would from your desktop. All right, everyone, hopefully this tutorial allowed you to play your game, is now able to play your game correctly and working the way it's supposed to through uh, Mod Organizer 2. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Are you excited to finally get this thing running? Also, if you guys like my videos, please go ahead and like and share with your friends. If you guys like my uh, channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Once again, my name is Tony Wolle. Thank you so much for the click, and I will see you next time.